seven years now, um, figured it was time to write a Nashville song, so here it is, The Nashville Mess Around. Let's 
window But moved against the papered wall When suddenly there loomed another And cast a lay it came to fall
introduce to you, to my left, playing the bass and singing for you so beautifully tonight. Please give it up for Shelby Mead. We're gonna sing a, a cowgirl song that's on Molly's new album. Anybody have a guess? Anybody listen? Yeah, you know. I studied up. <laughs> All right, here it is. Sides up. Thank you. 
Well, this next song we're going to do is about where I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area. I actually left, um, left the Bay Area when I was 19 and moved out to Boston. Lived there for three years, so it's always nice to be back in the Northeast. I always miss it here. I don't miss the weather. Um, I, think, I, I don't even think I owned closed-toed shoes before I moved to Boston. So it was definitely an adjustment. <laughs> People would see me walking down Boylston Street in Boston in the middle of winter in like little ballet flats and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> So it was a little harsh for a California girl, but um, this next song is about kind of the homesick feeling that I get when I think about the Bay Area and think about how many of my friends have had to move away because the prices have just gotten so crazy there and how the area has kind of changed even from when I was a kid in, in the 90s and early 2000s. Um, so I thought I'd write this song about it called The San Francisco Blues.
means. Double means. Double cuddles. We may or may not be the only siblings on the stage. <laughs> We're going electric <laughs> for the first time. Circle on stage with our instruments. <laughs> the mandolins don't get in tune. It's hard when you have two mandolins on stage. You have to be, it's like eight strings times two, or that one only has four strings. I don't even know how to add up how many strings there are. Magically, it's still somehow like 35 strings that you have to.
for a while. I lived there for three years and while I was there I started a band called the Goodbye Girls and it was my first band that I really got to tour all over the world with. It was such a special group of women and we're all still friends today even though we haven't played together in a while. Um, but I was thinking about those days of getting to kind of traipse around the world. We'd go to Europe a lot. We went to Sweden and, um, and to England and Germany together and it was so much fun. Um, so I wrote this next song about those days, touring with the Goodbye Girls. This song is called Goodbye Girl. Did you know about the store in Nashville when you named the band the Good Goodbye Girl? No, we didn't. <laughs> if you're ever down in Nashville, you've got to check out Goodbye B-U-Y Girl. <laughs> it's a great store. They sell lots of cowgirl boots. Um, lots of polo ties. <laughs> Crop tops. Thank you. 
another special guest up to the stage now. Um, did you all get a chance to catch our amazing opening act tonight? We're so happy to have Bella White here with us on tour this week. Um, she's just so amazing. I've become such a big fan of her music. We actually met many, many years ago at a camp up in Canada um, where she's from. And I remember she was just a teenager and we stayed up way too late one night singing Taylor Swift songs together. Um, so it's nice to get to sing together again after all these years. We're not going to do a Taylor Swift song tonight. <laughs> but we are going to do kind of a Canadian song. There she is. <laughs>
Bluegrass Festival I ever went to out in Grass Valley, California. Um, I went there with my dad when I was 10 years old, and um, I know probably some of you have been to some of the great bluegrass festivals around here, maybe Gray Fox or Joe Val. And the first festival is always such a magical experience. For me, it was a really pivotal experience where it was the first time I got to stay out all night under the trees and um, jam with my friends and it was so exciting and so I was so nervous at the same time. So when I was writing songs for this bluegrass album I kept just going back to those earliest memories of playing music and kind of falling in love with the music um, and I knew that I had to write a song about the Grass Valley Bluegrass Festival. So here it is. I remember when I first drove with my dad up to Grass Valley Four hours north of San Francisco, just outside Nevada City. The road winding through those dry brown hills of gold country. I was ten years old and happy. Out of school.
with the pair. How much money do we have to get to get us set where the jet set get lay up on the hill where they do the buggy? Well, I wonder what they do when they do the buggy, and I wonder what they would hear. Y'all ain't dead, you better watch that man gonna bust your head. He'll roll you over and I'll leave you alone. Boys, wonder whether the chicken got to be like, oh my god, I'm gonna hear what they do to the buggy. Well, I wonder what they do when they do the buggy, and I wonder what they do to the buggy. Throw your ass in the mighty mama's lap! What you gonna do? 
so much feelings of dread, <laughs> for me at least. Um, but when the pandemic started, I realized that I really, well, at first I really had no idea what to do with myself. I'm, I pretty much just play music. I don't really have other hobbies, don't have other things that I do. I mean, I watch TV, I guess. Um, so I was watching a lot of Netflix, and I decided that I needed to either start getting some hobbies so I was going insane, or um, still figure out a way to share music with people. So I decided um, to record an album of some cover songs in my bedroom in Nashville, and pick some of my favorite songs and record quarantine-style versions of them. And this next one is off of that record. <laughs> Oh, everywhere, 
gave me trouble all my life. He left me out in the cold rain and snow. Rain and snow. He left me out.
for you. This is one for all the crooked trees out there. Two trees in the forest, one was crooked, one was straight. Crimson bark and almond needles growing day by day. And though they look so different, they enjoy the rain the same side by side. A chickadee had told them of a darkness on the land.
Take the journey